Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Lake County, Indiana, with the frauditor known as Craig Hendry, as he wanders onto a correctional facility property and, well, gets himself arrested. And apparently, he neglected to see any of the signs in the area, letting him know that he's not supposed to be there. But I doubt that he would have even cared anyway, because this dude's a total moron. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Well, at this point, I'm just going to cut a lot of this out of the video because most of it is dead air anyway. Him just looking in uh, various vehicles and everything like that. So why even bother putting it on there to begin with? Let's just go ahead and skip to the part where he finds out how much he done effed up. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? Many unbearable hours later... Huh. That is very quite interesting. We're just recording? Recording what? Just what we can see from public? Oh, from public! No, dude, you're obviously on a correctional facility, which is not a public property. Because, you know, there's a high security area. Of course, you uh, probably already knew that, considering... You saw the cameras, you saw the fencing, you saw all the police cars. You knew that beforehand. You're not stupid. You're just, well, trying to get uh, arrested for clickbait. And that's the way it went down. So I hope you enjoyed your arrest. We're doing it on purpose. You gotta ask me to leave before you can trash bash me. Yeah, we I'm not, I'm not trash bash you. I'm just, what are you doing while you're videotaping our parking lot? I'm in handcuffs. Right. I don't know what you're doing here. Right what now, are you videotaping? Just everything we can see from public. Here, why? Right, that's why you're videotaping. You need to come over right? here. He's he's uh he turned my camera off. I think he's uh, gonna okay. do stuff to me. Camera officer, what are you doing? This is a jail. This is just, we're we're exercising our First Amendment right. You can't be this parking lot. It's, there's no signs that say that, so we didn't know. Nobody asked us to leave. What do you? Okay, well I'm asking you now to leave. There's, there's a, well, I can leave, but I'm in handcuffs. After you're done with this, you're gonna be leaving. You yes. don't know what you're this, doing this right is now. This is not a this is a public lot. Well, there's no sign saying that, so I didn't know that. Yes, you did. You knew. It. You were what going you through mean? every. You were going through everyone's cars, recording stuff. There, don't move. You were going this through is battery, cars. guys. All right, if you're a supervisor, I'd suggest that you stop him. They were looking I've, through everyone's cars, recording. That's thing. not a. Everyone's it's called the plain plates. view doctrine. They were looking. Craig, I know you're not that damn stupid. I think you're just uh, playing to the ignorance of your audience because, well, the plain view doctrine only applies to police officers when they're in the middle of an investigation or something like that. It has nothing to do with, if I can see it, I can film it. They're not that kind of thing, you dumbass. But then again, yeah. I think overall, you are a total dumbass. Otherwise, why did you get arrested so much? Everyone's it's in plain view in everything. public. We can see it. It's all okay to look at. Call the lieutenant. Call the break you. Yep. Well, we'll get you a supervisor on duty. Can you get me out of handcuffs? I'm not a threat. What's what's the, what's the reason that I'm in handcuffs? You're obviously not concerned about me running. I don't even know, but you know what? We have inmates that go back that get released and come back to try to do stuff to our cars. Well, there you have it, Craig. 
here's one good reason why they're so high security in the area because they are a uh, detention center or corrections facility and they do have people going out of there that do tend to vandalize the cars so it's only natural that they would see a dumbass like you wandering around the parking lot and being suspicious about it, especially given that this is a corrections facility and you do have a criminal record. I mean, so much here is understandable, dumbass. Key up our cars and stuff, so. I know. <laughs> yeah, We've got right. everything that we did on camera. Oh, oh, mess with our stuff. Yeah. You think we yeah. do something funky and record it? Oh, so you think people don't record their crimes? Uh, yeah, uh, you would be sadly mistaken on that. I mean, people do record their crimes all the time and boast about it online quite a bit. So please don't play that ignorance card right there because it really doesn't work when uh, you know damn good and well people do that all the freaking time. Can I get your name and badge number, please? It's on my shirt. Shanupa 411. Shanupa? Yeah, 411. Thank you. Thank you. What's his? Ask him. I, hey, hey, officer. It's on my shirt, too. Cross 491. I said cross 491. We'll get your supervisor over here. Why am I in handcuffs? Ask him. He puts you in handcuffs, not me. Why am I in handcuffs, man? Why are you recording this? Why are you recording this? I'm not recording this. Suspicion isn't a felony or a misdemeanor. I appreciate it if you don't get behind me, man. This is, you were going through people's cars. I was not going through anybody's cars. And you recorded the proof. I'm not going through You were looking through people's cars. Looking inside the windows is not a crime. You guys do it every time you make a traffic stop. That's not weird at all. If you guys do it every time you do a traffic stop, then yeah, that's weird. But if you if you don't do it, then okay. I'm shield. I'm in handcuffs. You're no, the one right who now calls you're being loud. You're the one being loud. No, you're the one who gets assaulted. Me. Assaulting. You got me in handcuffs. What would you do if I put you in handcuffs? There's, I didn't it's see it when I was walking in. Okay. You had to have come in. You had to. I walked past that off. yellow thing. Turn it down to the camera. This is for our own safety. Man. You're not supposed to be in this lot. Turn okay. I'm asking we'll you nicely to turn the camera off. There's jail staff only. You guys are supposed to be in this lot. It's jail staff only. Please turn the camera off before we go. They say you We're taking a look. We're taking a look at the sign. And he's saying super hard. Yeah, bro, you just grabbed me hard. It's not that shy. Okay, well, you still have to ask me to leave before I'm crash cast. There's a sign. Sir, there's a sign. It's a government building. There's a sign. It's a public building. It's public property. I just want to know. Which part of the street? I didn't see. Sir. Tyler, did you see it? I did not see it. We just walked it. Okay. We posted. Are you parked in this parking lot? Hey, Sergeant. Will you come deal with me, bro? Are you parked in this parking lot? Are you parked in this parking lot? No. You seem to be the more level-headed one. Let to talk to you. Yes, we walk. Okay, where did you walk from? I walked from over in that direction. <laughs> across the street. Which is another street. I don't want to be grabbed by anything. I'm not trying to grab you. The whole point is, is, is the whole point I, I actually didn't find it. Is that off? Sorry, man. Go ahead. So this is turn that off and just switch it to the line. Turn that off. Turn that off. What you taped is completely, you cannot tape. This is all. So, Craig, if there were indeed signs up, uh, then there is no excuse for this whatsoever. You probably saw the signs, though, and just disregarded them and thought they wouldn't do a damn thing to you. Well, this is just one more thing they can add to to the list of th of charges against you throughout your whole life. And, well, we won't exactly help you out with your cases from this point on in your life, but whatever, dude. If you want to go down that uh, life of being in in and out of jail your whole life, which you already have been. Well, that's your prerogative, but it certainly won't help you out whenever you're an old man and living on welfare, begging in, in the streets for uh, a little bit of food. So think about that, dude. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.